I was extremely happy today. I, um, <clears throat> how do I, y you know how when you get something done, you don't really feel like that much of a victor. You just feel like going to sleep. I finished Verk. Verk. V-R-K. Verk. If you're running Ubuntu on your computer, which you should be, go to verb.inc. V-E-R-B dot I-N-K. N as in Nathaniel. Go to verb.inc. Read and note the beta warning message. And that's the command line stuff that you put into your Ubuntu terminal. Run it. Install it. At your own risk. This is in beta. Now, I have tested it on many of my machines and other people's machines, and I've not had problems. But, but if it starts the apocalypse, you have been warned. The apocalypse or anything less, I'm not responsible for. Now, if this causes a problem greater than the apocalypse, then I will accept responsibility. I'm only claiming that this could cause a disaster for your computer. It could delete your files. It could get rid of your mom's picture that you like. It could, it could delete your rubber ducky. It could create the apocalypse. Korea could become one country as a result, which I suppose some people want to see happen, but it, it, it could cause major disaster if you install this thing. But I haven't seen that. I'm just saying that it could. So I'm not responsible unless it causes something greater than the apocalypse. And then I'll accept responsibility because my claim is only that it will possibly cause some disaster. It could remotely. No evidence for this, but I just, it could cause a disaster at or below the level of the apocalypse. At verb.inc, the, the verk. No, nah, it'll well, go see what it does. It'll get your desktop settings all the way it needs to be and install ki all kinds of cool stuff because other cool stuff, wall, wall, wallpapers, cool stuff is coming with this, believe me. No, I, I'm not. I don't want them to have a legal definition of the apocalypse in court, George. George. No, I'm not. You know, you and your smart ideas, you think that you know something, but actually you, you only thought half about it. It's why, you know enough to be, it's a good thing that you're the observer and not the actual guy in the microphone, though sometimes I think you want to be. Um... You know, I well, see, it's tempting for me to comment about the news, but you can go get that Pacific Daily Times because that's my outlet. Like, I really am cracking down on my own tend to rant about politics. I've got a venue where I do that. Look, I've got a political opinion because I predicted Trump would get elected and how. So, you know, Jackie Kennedy, I don't know if you knew this. This is an interesting story, a factoid of history for you. Jackie Kennedy... Uh, had, you know, JFK's wife. A lot of people feel sorry for her. But she, for various reasons. Anyhow, Jackie Kennedy, the, the first lady, had a big dinner and all the governor wives were there. The wives of the governors of the 50 states or whatever were there at the dinner. And the seating arrangement was that the oldest would sit closer to Jacqueline Kennedy. Well, it was found out part way through the dinner that one of the ladies was actually older and she insisted on on being on, on on having her place changed so she could sit next to the first lady and it upset the dinner and afterwards someone from the press asked Jackie Kennedy the first lady what she thought about it or to, you know to comment and she said those that matter really don't care and those that care really don't matter Um, so anyhow, I, I try to keep my political opinion to myself, you know, I like, I put it out, but then when I'm with people, I actually have a political opinion. I'm not just blowing smoke and I write about it. I'm syndicated. And so I don't have to talk about it. I don't talk about that with stuff with people that aren't also syndicated. If you're syndicated, I'll talk politics with you. If you're not syndicated, go read my column. I expose if you're my friend, you could ask me questions, but... I just, there's too much arguing about politics. There's, people argue about everything. It's like, 
wh why do you bother having an opinion if you're not a professional? Do what you're good at and the rest, you know, can it. We'll all get along better, you know? So I, I, I don't even talk about politics with my own friends if, you know, um, if it's going to be heated. We just, there's too much arguing going on, you know? Stick to what you're good at. Stop acting like, or, I mean, not necessarily you. You're not necessarily already doing this, but I wish I could just, sometimes I got to tell myself this. Stop acting like an expert at everything just because you have an opinion about it, Jess. You, you have my permission to tell your friends that. Anyhow, I'm supposed to be all excited and talk about my trip to Vietnam. Man, I am going to miss Saigon. Did, did you see what I did there? Nope, nope. I'm not going to talk about that either, George. They can go to fromasiawithlove.net and they can subscribe for $3 a month to find out about my crazy life in Asia. Three articles a week, three dollars a month. Um, but no, I, Vietnam was interesting. I talked about it a few weeks ago. I do believe. Now, I know I had a buddy who, who was trying to install Ubuntu on his system, and he has one of those homemade. I kind of need to warn you about this. He's got one of those homemade computer things, like where you kind of pieced it together, and it's running an ASUS motherboard, and the BIOS setup won't let him just install Ubuntu on his computer. And we're trying to figure out how. Is this 15-year-old kid in, in Taiwan who's all excited about, you know, I mean, he's just wants to do something with his life, not just play games, which is awesome. And I'm trying to help the kid. But I got to give you a little warning about Asus products. Now, I've got an Asus notebook. I've got the first one that they ever made for Windows 8. I pre-ordered the thing, actually. And it's working fine. And I've had other Asus notebooks work great. But Asus has some problems with some of their new stuff. Their phones and tablets are not unlockable like the Sony, Samsung, and HTCs are. And I made a little video about a keyboard software, keyboard problem thing. That's on my YouTube channel. Um, don't buy Asus. I, I hate to say it. It's a Taiwanese company. It's awesome. Don't, don't buy Asus. Their stuff doesn't work. Um, I wish it did. If, if new information changes, tell me ASAP. I've been to their headquarters, knocked on the front door. It was like trying to get into the Forbidden City. Maybe the, the, the supervisors there think that they are the emperors. Um, but factoid of, of Chinese history, that the capital was a forbidden city. No one was allowed in. The emperor lived there in solitude. Um, you know, I had a kid ask me this week, should we give money to the poor? And I'll tell you what I told him, and then I'll get to the point. I said to the kid, no, don't, don't give your money to the poor. Free money kills people. Just look around. The problem isn't money. It's fairness. Life isn't fair. It's extra kind to rich people and extra mean to poor people. Use your money. Keep your money. Use your money to make other people give justice to the poor. I mean, Jesus said the poor would always be among us. He didn't give money to the poor. Jesus gave them justice. He told it to the Pharisees and the leaders who oppressed them, and he healed them. Jesus' disciples told it to the Pharisees and healed sick people. He gave, they gave justice. Isaiah 11, 4 through 6. Jesus is the judge who gives justice to the poor. We need justice. So, you know, I think I'm going to get to the point. Judging is a technical skill. Like anything else, it requires study and practice. Parents, teachers, supervisors, even police, landlords, waitresses, and pizza delivery guys operate as judges from time to time. The rest of the time... Among peers, we don't judge. We only have an opinion. If we do well in smaller courts of life and have good opinions among our peers, eventually other people will ask us to judge them. Some call this job promotions. Others call it getting the girl, respect from children, or winning elections. It starts with being serious in whatever small things we may judge. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele.
jessesteel.com.